All right. I've raced at this track before, um, but I don't think I've actually had the road course on a video. So it's a pretty fun road course. Um, real quick, show you the car. We're in a Lambo because if you watch any wreck compilation, um, well, the bad drivers usually are in these. So I figured that was perfect for me. We're going to go ahead and qualify. We are the number 10 car. Um, I don't even know how many cars are in this, but we'll see what we can do. Feeling slightly comfortable. And uh, we're just going to have to see how this goes. 20 minutes, fixed setup. Um, Yeah, it's a really good track. It doesn't get used a lot. I think a lot of people look at the layout and think it's pretty boring. Or see an ovals attached to it and think it's a roll, which it is. You could have two events going off at the same time because we're going under the oval right now. But, yeah, I figured, hey, you know what? I need to learn road racing a little more and this has got a lot of people racing it so let's let's give it a shot now I think this would probably have one of the scariest turns in real life to approach which is going to be this next turn um, I can't imagine full speed, real life, for the first time, heading down here. This is a pretty big drop. And then you're braking, and you're turning right at the bottom of the hill, heading back under the oval. It's just... It could uh, be pretty damaging if you get it wrong. not to overdrive turn one because I've been doing that quite a bit. May have underdrove it. I've not been on track with any other cars when I did my practicing. I just got in a different run group so that I could remember the track. So I'm sure in the race we're gonna see some better lines and better ways to do things. I'll be happy if I can get to a 52. Looks like right now we're on pace for a 51. 49s were looking like top speeds in my uh, practice group before the race. It's very ugly. And overdrove that. Luckily, it's tight enough that we should be able to recover. gets very light when you're going through here, so that's why I'm being a bit careful. And then a long run to the line, which you don't normally get with international road courses. Alright, 51.6 puts us right about where we should be, and there was a lot of mistakes, so if I can get a low 51, I think we can get near where I'm supposed to be. Nope. 
I turned in way too early there. And that is that run dead. Let's see how the car looks. Yeah, I don't know how I screwed that up so bad. That was pretty pathetic. All right, so we got one minute, 10 seconds left of qualifying. And we are starting, <laughs> well, there you go. We're a whole second off pace from the next car in line, so. That'll be good. I have no idea what's going on with that shadow, but it's broken. So, looks like we're going to be getting a butt kicking, but that's going to happen. Just need to... Uh, Get comfortable, learn, and uh, slowly progress on road racing with this and the Porsche. I'll hopefully, be able to uh, the flag. get a bit on. more experience. What do we do? Standing starts, rolling starts, rolling. Okay. What do we got out there? Porsche, Ferrari. Very amazed that we have a viewer in here. Let's see where he's at. I'm, am I blind? Okay, <laughs> there we go. That that explains it. All right, well, let's go ahead and get loaded up. We've got a bunch of different manufacturers in this. At least we don't have to One do the full lap. Line up on the left side. Pit road is closed. Hoping the people behind us, the number one, the number seven, I hope they all understand. But yeah, first GT3 race in many, many years. We got someone on the idiot horn around us. They're to our right. We're at zeros, time to roll off and hopefully survive. Are we the only Lambo out here? Looks like it might be. Don't care. Like, finding what the faster car is, that's not going to help me. What I need to do is drive and learn. Frame rate or hell right now. We're going to be at a disadvantage on this start since we're going around this chicane. Here we go. We got space behind, we got space to our right. 20 minutes, gonna be about 11 laps. And let's see if we can, are you kidding me? What the hell was that? Where did that come from? I've, <laughs> all right. Um, 
random ass spin out of nowhere that I have not had. Like, I haven't even got this car close to spinning at any point, so it must be the tires were just... I don't know. Well, that's got me all confused. I've not got this car anywhere close to wanting to spin. Luckily, I didn't take anyone out with me, but... What the hell? That makes zero sense, but hey, we're the Lambo. We have to be the first one to wreck. And now we're ten seconds behind, so... Oh my god. I knew I was going to be bad, but... Why the hell does the car feel completely different now? Alright, 8.8 .8 seconds to the next car. I'm just gonna have to hope some people make some mistakes. And we can get something close to a race. ahead. I think I just kept it, like, way too tight. I, I was going way too slow. I don't know. I, I'm just bad. Close the second up right now. Learn that the car is a little tricky. Lap one. Which he would have thought that I'd learn that on an out lap, but never felt that way, so. Looks like we got two people that are around our pace. Am I going to have enough time to catch them, though? Maybe not. Oh, we got one that's spun. This guy's gonna be quicker than us, so... Now we've got more mistakes happening. That was second place. Alright. We've got people screwing up. That's kind of what this series is. It's just a lot of people like me. We got our mistake out of the way early. Let's, uh... Let's, I'm just gonna assume that, like... Mistakes are like pit stops. Another one that's went off. All 
Alright, not bad though right now. It's at least going to be somewhat entertaining for you. I hope. Except for how bad I am through there, but... It's just how it's going to be. So 51-1, we got a lot of cars now right in front of us and there's a lot of people out of position. So then there's going to be people trying to make passes on slower people and honestly for spinning out in turn one, we're not in a bad spot, even though position wise, we're still essentially dead last. some slower cars. So we've got 13 and a half minutes. No, 12 and a half minutes. gaining on the people right in front of us, but we are, I think, gaining on the people in front of them. Finally do turn one how I had practiced it. Far behind's not gaining on us. Got cones getting hit all over the place because iRacing puts cones way too close to the track. snappy there. I don't know what tires do. I did do a seven lap run in practice, so I've got some idea of what the car is going to be like, but also I'm pushing it a lot harder because I've got some of the learning out of the way. Alright, the 19's pulling over, it looks like, for some people, so if we can get to him, we should be able to pass him. That was the guy who was initially ahead of us before everyone else started screwing up. a 50.5.
shifted down into first and it just locked the rears up. <sighs> Very pathetic. Oh well. Should know better. I don't know why I randomly shift further down than I need to in, when I get into the race. I just stop thinking. And I don't have enough time in the car, so then I start doing stupid stuff like that on corner entry. And now I'm just driving wide every corner exit. Two self spins, so um, not great. going to be one person. That's the 13. We've got eight minutes left in this. And now I'm just kind of overdriving off rhythm. I've got to the point where I'm disappointed in my driving and I've essentially given up and you can tell it because I can't even keep the damn thing on track. Every lap from here is going to be helpful because it's going to teach me what this car does later in a race. And I should be able to easily get a race in each week. I want to do a Lotus 79 race, but no one's racing. At least when I've looked. So, just have to go to something that's more popular that we haven't driven, which is this. Looks like the uh, 12 car has had another off. Unfortunately, my second off, well, both offs were just extremely long to get turned around. It's not really going through too many changes in this short amount of laps, and I assume it probably won't even if I do a longer endurance type race in the GT3. From what I remember, but this was a long time ago, that the road tire is just a bit boring long run wise. That's the 19. 
He finally made his mistake. Maybe I can beat him unless I make a third mistake. The two worst drivers in the race. No offense. Too tight. Damn it, why am I fucking that up? Alright, the guy's lying through. The S is there, it's not great. But what would I know? I'm running dead last, so. I mean, I don't want to wreck this dude for last, so I'm gonna have to be careful about how I attempt this if I even get there. supposed to take it. There he got loose and wide. Over steer. Pushes wide. God, can I stop that? Okay, he did that corner better, and I did it worse. Could have thrown it in there, but I wasn't quite sure if he was letting us by or blocking because he just kind of half sat in the middle of the road. Here we go. You got a slow car on the left. One minute fifty two point five seven four. Slow car ahead. Got two people that have uh, screwed up. The twelve again, it looks like. Oh, I almost killed him. to try it, but then he got really stupid slow. It was just like two really bad road racers going at it. Oh, fuck. Don't murder him, don't murder him, don't murder him. Fuck, I murdered him. He got that corner and got a slow down penalty. You've got wheel damage. <sighs> Let him go. I fucking hit the grass on entry. It just shot me left. Wrecking for last. Oh, fuck. 
I, this is probably uh, the worst performance I'll ever put out on the channel, I hope. I don't know if it can get any worse than this, wrecking for dead last. I just flipped the grass with my right rear, and it, I was a passenger at that point. I couldn't do anything to stop from running into him. Oh, man. That was pathetic. We definitely fit the Lambo driver. God. <laughs> I'm sorry if you watched all that. Bring it back to the pits. We're going. Let's see all the wrecks, including all of mine. Jesus. We got a long ways to go. I want to see my stupid ass self spin. I just slammed on the throttle. Like, we weren't going in fast, so the car was already turning. Then I slammed on the throttle, and it just spun on me. Like, I had not felt that at all. Luckily, everyone gets around me, but... Man. I was... Pathetic. Don't know why it's showing everyone going through this section, but apparently the bottom of the car is hitting. Are we just gonna see this corner over and over? Different corner. 15 gets a little wide, spins. Oh, almost pulled in front of traffic. It's kind of stuck there. Just back up, turn left. And then the 11 goes wide, and then spins it, getting back on track. Almost does some murdering. Sixteen in deep. Apparently, uh, in GT3, it is anime cars that are going to be causing lots of incidents. Or me. Anime or me. Nine car gets dumped there. Four, I believe, is waiting for him. So at least that was polite. almost spun there. I don't... It's something with this corner that it really likes to show. And... This is how this guy ended his race. Head first into a wall. I guess at least I didn't do that. Gotta get through everyone go through this corner. Is it stuck on this guy now? It is. Well, shit. Um, let's go watch me wipe that guy out. I should have just passed him when I had the chance to throw it in there, but... Oh, well tried to stick the nose in there, and we got into him a little bit there, and then you're going to see me just stay way too far right, and crunch, and then I tr 
tried. So, reckon for last. Not good. Let's take a look at the results and see how much I've lost of everything, which is going to be a whole lot. Uh, 83 and 18 safety rating. So, uh, we were bad. And, well, we didn't end up with the most incidents, but that's because it's more likely that people were getting 1x's a lot more than spinning and hitting things like myself. But, yeah. Not good. Thanks for watching.